days. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Call on Peter to lead us in prayer. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Cleanse and purify your church to make it into a house of prayer for all people. We, members of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, in accordance with the Anglican cycle of prayer, pray for the people of the Anglican province of the Congo, under the leadership of Archbishop Massimango Katanga. We pray for the Church of Sweden with which we are associated, particularly the Diocese of Karlstadt, under the leadership of Bishop Søren Dalevi. In our own diocese, we pray for the neighbouring St. Marylebone Deanery and also for Archbishop Justin, Bishop Sarah, Bishop Rob, and in our own parish, Miriam, Rachel and Julie. Strengthen them, strengthen us and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love and reveal your light to all those whom they and we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the governments of the world that they may always seek for peaceful solutions in their dealings with other nations and rule their own countries with compassion and justice. At this time of the worldwide pa pandemic, we pray for the leaders of our countries, states and cities as they seek to help manage the challenges of the economic impact of the virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are lonely, for those isolated because of coronavirus and for those who find it difficult to make friends or to be accepted. We pray for those who have asked for our prayers, namely John, Peter, Paula, Lucy, Eileen, Christiana and Eric. Keep us connected to our brothers and sisters in faith. Fill us with your compassion so we may work tirelessly to foster relationships in our community built on the foundations of truth, mutual respect, cooperation and trust. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. We pray for all those suffering with COVID-19 and for those who are suffering because of the reduction of other, in other treatments. We pray for the fair and swift distribution of the COVID vaccines so that those most in need can be protected no matter where they are. We pray for those who are ill and known to us personally. We ask that you will be with them and with us all in these stressful times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died recently, for those whose year's mind falls at this time, and for those who mourn them. May those who have gone before us know the joy of living with you forever. And we pray that we too will one day share the life which has no ending. We give thanks for lives well lived and for happy memories. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Frail 
As summer's flowers we flourish, blows the wind and it is gone. But while mortals rise and perish, God endures unchanging on. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise the High Eternal. 